Hello everyone, welcome to this last lesson on our tutorial series and in this lesson we're gonna develop a functionality to create a communication stream between all our services. So basically in this lesson we're gonna develop a new route to list an order by its ID and in this route I will show the customer's name and the book's title instead of its ID. Here at this moment we have this information book ID and customer ID but now I want to show the customer's name and the book and the book's title. So to do that we need to make a request for our customer service to get a name of the of a customer by its ID and we we need to make the same thing we need to make the same thing with the books with the book service we need to make a, a request here to get a book by its ID and get the name it show and show it here in our other service so we gonna make a communication with our customers and book service to show the name and the 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 title of the book, the name of the customer, the, the customer's name and the book's title. So let's get started. First, I will create a new route here, a new get route. And basically is a book, a order, sorry. And it will receive an ID, rec res. And we need to list an order by its ID. So order dot find by ID. And we need to pass the ID here. So params ID. Then, then order. If order is different of undefined, do something and if order is equal to undefined return a message invalid order if order is valid we need to make a request to each service of our our application we need to make a request to the customer's service to get the customer name of this order and we need to make a request to the book service to get the book's title of this order. So to, to make this request, we're going to use a library called Axios. And to install Axios is really simple. We just need to go to our orders folder and type the following command npm. So to install Axios, we need to type the following command here in our orders folder. So npm install dash dash save Axios. If you don't know, Axios is a HTTP library that allows us to make HTTP requests to any address. So we can make HTTP requests to our another services. All right, um, let's let's do it i will open up my server again so no demo orders.js and here inside this if statement i will call i first i will load axios at the top here so const axios equals to require axios and here inside this if statement i will call axios dot get because i want to to make a get request First, we we gonna we gonna get the customer's name. So don't forget to open up your customer services server. So open up another terminal tab or another terminal, and open up your customer service server. All right, don't forget it, and come back here. We need to make a request to our customer service. To do this request is simple. We just need to pass here http two dot slash slash localhost and the port of my customer's service is 
5555. And we need to make a request to this root here, to this get root here, to list a customer by its ID. So we need to make a request to slash customer slash ID. So slash customer slash an ID. In this case is the customer ID of this order. So I will concatenate here with the plus sign and order dot customer ID. And after that, we can make a then here and actions return for us this object here, response. We can make a console.log here to see what is inside response and let's test it out. I only will make a response here, a quick response. And let's go to this slash order slash ID here. I will get a valid ID. I will get this ID here. And here in my order slash ID. So if I go here in my console, as you can see, there is our customer's data. Nice. So now we can we can we can we can do the following thing. We can create a var here. I will call it of order object and it will receive a customer name which is response dot data dot name and it will receive a book title for now is empty because now we will make a, a request to our book service so now we need to open up your books service server and we can do the do this creating another tab in your terminal or open up another terminal and you you can open up your book services server in my case is there book service is up and running and to get the book's title we need to make a request to this root here slash book slash an id so let's do it inside inside this actions dot get callback here let's create another requisition another another re, uh, another another get request here so http slash slash localhost 4545 which is the the port where my book service server is running and slash book slash an id so i will concatenate this id here with order dot dot book id and then response and inside here we can call our other object dot book title and pass this data here response dot data dot title all right now we can make a res dot json other object and now when I reload this page, let me delete it, delete it, and let's try again. And if I reload my page, that's it. Now we can see our customer name and our book title by the order ID. Amazing. Now our order service is capable to join the another two services of our application to make one functionality here. 
Well, our application is finished, finally. This application is really simple and to show you how to create a basic structure for a microservice based web application but you can create more complex structure using tools like docker or kubernetes all right and the the general idea for this tutorial is to teach you how to create a very basic microservice without any authentication or validation advanced system for now you have pieces of software that are completely independent for instance our book service is completely independent of our entire application because it have its own database its own business logic and the same thing for the customer service it's it is one of the advantage of microservices because you can reuse and use these these services here in another software in another application without any effort if you wish you can improve this software here with better functionalities, with better features, all right? And I hope you enjoy, I hope you learn it a lot with this tutorial series. And if you like, please let me know in the comment sections below, but don't forget to subscribe to our channel because here we make new videos six days a week. Bye bye.